Good day guys, Bing here. Um, today let's have a look uh, at this one. Okay. Um, um, I I'm not sure um, what's the best way to model this uh, other than just manually create those, you know, um, pattern just, you know, using void. Um, yeah, because it's, they are all different, although these pattern, uh, there's a little pattern here, but then uh, it becomes, because we uh, we have also have this shape there. Um, but anyway, um, let's try to model this one. Just use the, you know, create those void. But just be careful um, if, if, if there's, you know, like only this, this much uh, void that should be okay but if if there's more than this one uh, i i do not recommend okay you, because it will make the very far very heavy and uh, yeah uh, i do not recommend that so let's uh, let's let's try this one okay so first let's create a project and uh, we're going to use um just use basic wall, generic wall, to create this. So one is for the white part, um, and w another one for the, the the dark part. Okay, so now let's create a wall. W A. I'm going to use this uh, generic uh, wall, and I'll just roughly draw it maybe uh, six meter, and go to 3D view. Um, let's have a look. Okay, so it looks like this, uh, and also there's a panel, but um, I, I don't think we're going to create this. We, we can, but yeah, so it's more uh, trying to create um, this shape and all these patterns. But, okay, so the so one, two, three, four, five, um, the top one's slightly smaller, looks like, let's make it 20, 2400, so we can... I, let's just make it 25 so 500 each okay so, and then we're going to create a new one so CS create similar edit type duplicate so I just create a new one edit so and we're going to create a new material I'll just call it finish to change the color and okay and okay and okay so now before we place another wall uh, I'll just escape cancel that and I want to create this shape first okay so this can be very simple just edit profile we're going to just use a spline and then we just from here just you know do some uh, shape and pretend this is nice shape just like this one okay <laughs> Okay, so now we just need to split SL, SL, oh sorry, SL, and then drag this line to this end, and drag, drag, oh hell, tab, tab, drag this to this end. So now finish, so now we have this. Okay, let me change to shade, SD, so this is the, the, the white part. Okay, so now let's select the wall. Uh, so first I want to change this to finish face either exterior or interior. Just let me just uh, guess exterior. Control C and then go to modify, paste in same place and without uh, click anything. So you have the new wall selected. Go to the uh, property, change it to the new one. So this will change the new one to match the um, so yes yeah, still the match the profile so we need to edit profile and then this time we just need to delete everything there drag this one to this end and finish so now we have another wall so yeah oh hell oh sorry I forgot to change the thickness so edit type edit and change this one to maybe 10 mil okay okay so now you can see it will align the exterior face of this wall will align with the exterior face of this wall okay so this is it 
And then we need to start to uh, create all this void. So this can be quite um, <laughs> uh, time consuming. But anyway, so um, you have mm -hmm. some options. So, so one is you can model in place, just uh, create a some void in 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 the model in oh, sorry in the project but um yeah you can do that but you can also create a family for example a face based family with void to cut the base so it will uh, directly cut uh, the wall but you can also you create a family without face base so you can just create a generic model but you can um you can turn on the cut with void when loaded and also turn on the work plan based. So which means that you can use this one just like the face based, but it will not automatically cut. You need to use a cut geometry once you load this into the project. Uh, just make sure you uncheck the always vertical. Yeah, I, um, I prefer this one a little bit more um, than face based. Um, family. Uh, don't know why. <laughs> anyway, so let's do it. Uh, first, we need to some reference plan. So just roughly to get the size of this. So we're going to um, not create the whole, you know, one whole panel. But so we're going to create this size. Okay, so this size. So roughly from this image, roughly maybe five hundred by maybe nine hundred. Okay, so let's just make it a meter. So, and then I'll just roughly dimension and equal and select the reference plan, change this to 500. So, so the overall uh, will be one meter. Change this to 250, so 500 by one meter. Okay, so now we can start to create some uh, this shape. So, this can be. Um, quite um i'm not sure <laughs> okay so um let's just try to do it so void i use um, void extrusion and um size not maybe 50 and i think that will be uh, what looks like they are all diamond shape so it will be 50 but the angle will be 120 degree 50 120 okay so then again 50 so that's one of them okay so uh, this is very slow process i'm going to just copy it to here move it down by maybe 50 move it to here by 50 and i'll just mirror this and um, i'll use dm oh sorry dm and also I'll use S2, so and come down maybe 20, uh, so with a gap 20 between these two. Um, what's next? So uh, how do I do it? So I'll just try DM again. Oops, DM and S2, select this, perpendicular to the edge, 20 again, and then here. So another one. So now we can do DM directly from this point, and uh, and then we can select these two and DM. Di oh, hang on, DM directly from these two. So ah, let's go over. So maybe I'll delete this one. Um, how can we copy this? Uh, hang on, Control Z. So I think maybe it's easier to rotate this RO space to this so i think uh, i think uh, <laughs> it should be easier to copy this way so i'll select this file cc okay so that's good um and we probably just uh, move uh, i'll just delete this one and uh how do we copy this down so uh yeah sorry it's 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 a bit it's quite hard <laughs> uh 
Um, okay, maybe I'll copy this one to uh, this one. This one to here. Oh no no no! We'll do it this way. Copy this from from here to here. So CC here to here and to here and to uh, that's enough. So maybe delete delete this. Uh, we need more here, so I'll just copy this to here, and we need another one here. So I'll copy this from here to here. In the um, I'll maybe delete this one. I think that's 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 good enough. So this will be the full panel, but uh, we don't have a full panel here, but it's very close. So we can. So for example, we're going to create some, this one. So it's it's not uh clo not we just need to delete some of this to create that one so maybe something like like this okay so that's the first one so finish um let me just have a look finish i'll go to 3d view okay so these are go are going up i think we need to go the other way so i'm not sure negative 100 okay so this is it i'll load this one into the project let's go to 3d view i'll just place so you can see uh, this is a, a word plan based um family so you have option to you use it like a face based family or you can set word plan okay so so we can directly uh place it uh here for example or maybe just move it down a little bit um not sure about this if i type zero it would go down here with uh because we centered that so which means uh, the lowest one sh need to be uh 250 right so 250 and if 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 it's this one which means one two three three uh three three uh 150 plus what two fifty of uh 1500 plus 250 is 1750 so this will be the you know second top second and then uh yeah if i if i do array this to you know the other side by a one meter and use second and type uh five six so this will cover yeah i think that's it sa move it down left a little bit so now let's try this modify a uh, cut oops uh, we need to un ungroup them first try again cut okay so this works right so and then um uh and then we can just go edit family so once again so this time we can just go you know uh just delete a little bit more so edit x edit extrusion let's try to just randomly delete some of the this uh shape okay and then save as just make sure you save as a different different name so okay so otherwise you will overwrite to the previous one oh what's this save as the project will save as it was before you save in edit mode what, what, what's this oh did i just ah oh, sorry did i just save oh hell sorry i forgot to fit a uh, tick 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 ah oh. That's fine. We we'll just do it again. Yeah, just be careful when you save. You need to make sure you finish the editing. Otherwise, it won't save any, you know, editing. Uh, I think that's that's pretty much it. Maybe we we'll, one more. Okay, just make sure you check you finish. Okay, and then save as. Just name it a different name. Save and load this back so now we can go to 3d view so you don't need to place because we already have these right so just copy them up by uh 500 and then just go there change it to the new one then you can just cut cut again but yeah you the um currently it's not it's okay it's not very you can see it, it's still not slow but yeah if 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 you have more than this i think it can be uh some issue with uh i think that's uh, that's okay that's not bad 
with this vertical and horizontal, you can I, I won't worry about like uh, going back to the family to add the void. So you can directly use uh, reveal. Okay, so of course <laughs> this default reveal is it's a huge reveal, but you can create a very small one like ten by ten. So I just quickly do it. Create new family profile. It'll be profile reveal here. Yeah, you just need to draw a line. Just you know, ten mil, ten mil, ten mil, ten mil. If you want to, you can move it uh, to down by five mil. So load this back into the project, and then go select select this edit type change the profile to that family okay so now you can just uh, do this so for example this one will be 500 create another one cs so this one will be one meta and another one 1.5 meta another one and a two meta then you can also do the vertical CS create create similar one here so one meter and then you can just copy CC just type one meter one meter oh did I just type ten oh one hundred uh, I'm not sure it doesn't work but anyway so let's just do it again two meter okay CS. Three, great. Four, five, and also you can do it on the other wall, so it, they align with the other one. Um, something like that. So horizontal CS horizontal. Oh, hang on, what's going on? Uh, let's try again. So just make sure you place. Maybe we can place it here. So and then move it up. CS place it here and move it up. So one meter, right? So CS vertical and move it to the left two meter. So yeah, so that that's it. You can you can do it this way, I think. And then um, I I. So for this, you can you can do this. You can still do the same. Uh, so you can copy copy this part. So let's just copy this. CC down by five hundred. And if if you're going to use same same pattern, you can just use uh, draw join this. Oh no no no! Sorry, not join. Cut geometry. Okay, so it looks like we have some issue with this because, because um, yeah, so you probably don't want to see this. Um, I wouldn't worry too much about this. So instead of trying to adjust the void, um, maybe it's easier to you know just uh, just feel feel this. So for example, if you just do model in place, I'll just do a model in place wall. And because we have this profile there, so we can just do a sweep or pick parts. I'll see if I can just somehow pick the whole thing because we still have yeah. So we still have the black wall. Oh, because we have those void uh, review. Um, anyway, so maybe 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 I'll do the review last. So I'll just delete this review because this review. Um, Break all the you know edge so so to, and make make it harder for me to create a sweep. So I just delete those review uh, and I'll just do a modeling place uh, wall and uh, sweep, pick path and try to pick the edge of that black wall. So we have this continuous edge and finish. Edit profile. So I'm going going to just you know uh, just pick some 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 um, line. So and this one. So trim, and I'll just 
make it like um, 50 trim become a rectangular shape and finish in a finish uh, it doesn't work I think it's probably because um, because of because the um, the curvature of sorry the curvature of the um, these so uh, we can try what we can try is we can reduce this, the depth of the profile so let's try so it's currently 50 so if I make it 20 and see what happens finish finish okay so it works so now um, we just need to change this one to the same material which is finish and then finish join geometry select this select the wall so at least this will give us um, hopefully <laughs> okay so revis starts okay yeah so I think we have some issue but uh, maybe not even not join them so because when you can see all these lines but if you do a render you won't see so you can see it become a uh, closed so I think that 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 at least it would it's not too bad right it's not too bad so if if you change to you know a shade without edge so you can see it's quite clean it's quite clean right okay so that's uh and yeah i think that's pretty much it so you can see all these ones so you just need to it create uh just create different another one so for example you can just continue to to delete so delete more uh, it's too slow to it's too slow let's try to find a try to find an easier way to you know delete 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 yeah okay so now finish and save as a different one uh, this time ccc save and load this one into the project again and go to 3d view so we, we don't need to place uh, again just copy them down by another 500 and then we just need to change this one to the new one and it would do a cut geometry cut cut uh, we don't need to cut these so we can delete them uh, we need we need this we need this one and we don't need this okay so yeah that's it and then um for this black part it will be very similar so just do to the holes and also uh, you can just create one copy um, copy paste copy paste and then just uh, you know delete some create uh, so for the black part it's it's actually easier because you just need one I think you just need one pattern so for so I'll just uh, fit qu quickly we can just directly use that family this one we go to floor plans we go edit this one so we can just delete everything here create a circle so this time is slightly smaller I think 10 maybe 10 radius so 20 10 10 radius yeah and then uh, let's MV move it oops sorry MV SC to this end come down um, maybe 30 this another 30 and then we try to you know copy every uh, I'm not sure 30 maybe uh, that's too close to each other maybe uh, another let's make it 50 okay so I'm typing SC to snap the center point okay so that's uh, CC SC SC okay I think uh, just just uh, very good very good and then 50 50 50 50 50 50 50 50 50 50 50 uh, maybe maybe do it faster CC SC SC 
another one, CCSCSC. Okay, so maybe just to move to the left a little bit, uh, a little bit, uh, a little bit, go up a little bit, just roughly. Uh, yeah, very good. So then we just need to delete some of these, just make it more like randomized. Or you can just con uh, press Control, so it's easier. Just press Control and you can select mul multiple um, elements, right? And then just press Delete. I think uh, let's delete some more. And uh, okay, so Delete. Very good. Finish. And then save as. Uh, this time the save and load is back. Okay, overwrite. So go to three D view. So and um, so we can we can still use these. Okay, so I'll copy these two. CC. Oh, hell, there's one here. Uh, that's fine. Just ignore that. CC them down five five hundred. And then we with we, uh, without click anything, so you can see we I still have these two selected. So edit work plan, pick a plan, okay, and pick this, okay. Now we can select these two. Oh, sorry, not this one. This one, this one, and then we can change this to the latest one, the circle one. So and then cut geometry, cut this wall, and cut this, cut this. Oops, sorry, wrong one. <laughs> uh, cut this and this. So. Now you can see it's quite good, and we can copy this down 500, and then this one can go the other side one meter, and this can go this side by one meter. So and then also this one, this one, this one, uh, this one, this one, and this one. CC go up one meter. Oh no, that's 10 meter. So that's all. We just need to cut geometry. This oh wrong one. Sorry. Cut geometry. This 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 and this 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 and ah uh, yeah we don't have that one but that's fine. Uh, hang on. Where's that one? Um, hang on. Maybe just let's just. Maybe I didn't copy properly. CC up 500. Okay, so cut geometry like this. Great, great. So, yeah, so um, yeah, let's ignore that, ignore that. And this is it. Uh, maybe you need to delete more. <laughs> but. So, Okay, so this is it. So uh, very uh, quite time time consuming. Um, I don't I don't know if there's uh, any good uh, um, better method to to achieve this. But uh, yeah, if if you find a a better method, please please let me know. Okay, so let's. Um, how about we do a render? So I haven't used where's the render? I haven't used render in Revit for years. I think uh, hi. Um, I'm not sure about the settings. <laughs> Okay, uh, looks like um, too dark. <laughs> yeah, maybe the set sound setting is not right. Anyway, oh, it's coming. Uh, that's not good. Let me stop it. 
So maybe I'll choose 150 median, try again. Uh, not good. So yeah, that's that's it. Uh, let, let me just cancel this. So this is uh, um, let me finish this one. Five hundred cut geometry. And that's it. Okay. Yep. So um, you might notice that uh, I used a, ge a general model, a uh, work plan based. So I have to use the cut geometry. But if you create a face based family, you can. It will directly cut. But um, I prefer this way. But yeah, it's up to you. So that's it. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'll see you next time. Thank you.